Our walk-in closet sums up the entire aesthetic of our home. Edgy and elegant. Hi, I'm Sarah Yu. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a director of a non-profit organization and a mom who loves fashion and interior design. And today, I am here with Preview to show you my walk-in closet. So, I'd like to show you some of my favorite pieces in my walk-in closet. Let's start with this mirror. This mirror is called the Phantom Mirror. I got this one from Fern Italia. What I really love about this mirror is its futuristic design. I love that the color matches my walk-in closet. It's platinum. And you know, for me, it's not just a mirror. It's a piece of art too. So, this is the Versus by Versace accessory organizer. During our trip to Italy, we visited this store that was about to close temporarily and I found this gorgeous piece of art. It looks so simple yet regal that we just had to bring it home with us. Originally, the store didn't want to sell this to us because it's an exclusive for our sellers, meaning it's a rare collectible. But we had bought a lot from the store and we figured baka naman pwede. And plus, my husband really likes the piece. So talagang kinulit namin sila na ibenta sa amin. Moving on to the next item that I really love is of course, my Hermes Birkin Himalaya bag. This bag is one of the rarest handbags in the world. I love that the color palette of this bag is just neutral. So you can just easily pair it with anything. And one more thing I love about this bag is the value for money. Whenever I shop, I always think of the value of an item in the long run. This bag actually can increase its price as the years go by. We customized this rack and it took us six months to build this but we made sure that it would fit our home's aesthetic while improving the function of our closet for a long time. The surface is made from top quality granite while the mirror is made of acrylic material. Each hexagonal niche comes with a mirror so you can check your reflection while you try your sunglasses. And the last item that I want to show you is this art piece. It's one of my favorite art pieces from my husband's collection. This is called the Flying Balloon Girl by Banksy. Besides being a fan statement, it actually has a deeper meaning. It means freedom of the children in Israel and Palestine. Most people think that when you buy something na mas mura, mas nakatipid ka. But in the long run, you might end up selling them or replacing them with something else because the quality is not good. It will actually save you the time and spare you the stress. I only keep things that I know that I can still use in the future to avoid clutter. Kung feeling ko hindi ko na siya magagamit, I sell it or I give it away, at least mapapakinabangan pa siya ng ibang tao. When you're looking at our house, you're looking at us. Plus, there's something really special about having built this home from scratch. We put our heart and soul into this home, which makes it the best place in the world for us. The spaces in our home impact us more than we realize. It affects how we feel physically and emotionally. So it's really important to have a place where you can be yourself, surrounded by the things that make you happy. Having your own space means having your own happy place. My definition of a happy place is a space that doesn't just hold your belongings. It's a space that reminds me of how hard I work to get to where I am right now. And you know, this walk-in closet is the fruit of our labor. Whenever I walk in, I'm reminded of the hard work that came with it.